Hi guys, I'm the Yorkshire Samurai, aka Yorkie Sam, and thanks for joining me. So this is the last of three, the third and final one of drawings based on famous American cartoon sitcoms. And if you couldn't guess what the final one was, it's Family Guy. Family Guy is one of my favourite ones out of this list and has to be done basically. So let's start. Now, as you can see here, I was going to do something similar to my Simpsons drawings, which was starting off in the living room, but I thought that would be rep repetitive. So what you can see me doing here is utilizing something that Family Guy, I would say it's probably best known for is the cutaway gags. They're always doing things where they'll uh, have a reference or something. And there's always a punchline, but the punchline leads off to then visually cutting away for um, for the, the visual punchline of the visual uh, end of the gag. Now, obviously, this is hard to um, portray in a drawing sense. Obviously, it's a very visual um, way of telling the joke. It's like you, you have to kind of like it has to be in motion, it has to be animated, or I just generally I'm in motion to be able to get the actual like cutaway feel so I thought that usually when they do a cutaway joke it's someone saying oh like that time that such and such happened and then it's almost like they're recalling or remembering uh, something they're thinking back it's, it's, it's in hindsight so that's why I'm having it so Brian is got is thinking about these things he's actually like thinking how to write his novel because as we all know Brian, and it, I'm quite similar to this in my own writing because I write as well as draw. I am very bad for prevaricating and probably think I'm slightly better than I am when it comes to writing. So the idea that he's thinking in a thought bubble of these different references that I'm going to go into a bit later on, I thought that would be a, it's a easier way of conveying that, you know, He's thinking, he's kind of cutting away in his mind to these references that we all, we all know and love. I would also say that um, in terms of converting the style of Family Guy to my own, this was much easier than The Simpsons and uh, South Park because even though they're very stylized drawings, it's, it's a cartoon uh, format, so it has to be simple and recognizable. Um, you've got Homer who I have to try and make him recognisable as Homer but still my own style Kenny, that was an issue with the hood making it realistic but you still see it's Kenny so I found this a lot easier to convert over to my style so regarding references uh, I think well I mentioned Brian the would-be writer he is the one who needs to facilitate the whole thing so this is all uh, a story in Brian's head Think of the evil monkey, uh, you got the chicken, horse fights, pizza, and obviously you've got the rivalry between Lois and Stewie. Uh, and I think it's interesting when I was choosing these references because obviously Stewie and Lois, you know, it's it's very early um, Family Guy references that because if you notice later on, they more build on Stewie's friendship with Brian rather than Stewie being an evil genius and always trying to kill Lois. Uh, so that's more of an old school one, but that's obviously very iconic. Peter fighting the, uh, the chicken that gives him an out-of-date coupon and just keeps on getting more and more bizarre. That's obviously very iconic. But it was funny because those two references that I just meant laying there, the ones that we all kind of like, Whereas with Chris, it's funny because I find him a quite a boring character. I actually prefer, and I'm on popular opinion, I actually prefer Meg over Chris, even though she's also very boring and very whiny. I think it's just, I mean, Seth Green, very talented. I mean, Robot Chicken's great, very talented. But the voice he chose for Chris, just, I find it extremely annoying. And Chris as a character, the only time I find him very funny is uh, in regards to when Herbert is on screen. 
But then again, once again, it's, it's not really Chris, it's Herbert. So, Evil Monkey was a, a good reference. I also like the fact that it's a character, it's a cutaway character with an arc because he actually ends up being not an Evil Monkey. But, um, yeah, I think it's my least favourite reference in this here. But in terms of how it turns out in this drawing, he's one of my favourite characters, the Evil, Mon Evil Monkey. I also quite enjoyed drawing Peter. Uh, it's a slight thing as well where I've, I've made him slightly muscular. Because um, that's a little kind of nod to this episode where it's a special one where, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember it now. It's like he's, he's hench for whatever reason. He's a. Uh, Kind of like a 80s action cliche uh, episode but all the 80s like you know macho man stuff and he's got muscles so i had to remove the blood because i was going to give him in all his chicken fights he's always covered in blood and i did if you probably not i did put some scratches on his shoulders and his face now but i wasn't sure with the whole youtube thing i wanted to add blood so i took that away but i'm starting to finish now adding a bit of shading in now i'll be adding highlights soon so yeah, this is the approach to the end. One last point while I'm remembering is also I took the colours for each character's clothing straight from the references. So that way it's more pleasing to the eye. You notice it more because your brain's very good at noticing subtle changes. So I thought I would have did it that way. It's easy for your eye to pick up that it is the same colours. And as you can see with the colours here, we've got an evil monkey. That's the most um, advanced, well not advanced, complicated one I've done in terms of a shading. I've got everything very kind of like two colours, one base colour, the other one the shading. And that's it, this is my final piece here. So I'd like to take this time to uh, thank everybody. If you've watched my previous two videos, on the South Park and the Simpsons and now this Family Guy one. Uh, thanks very much. This is now the end of this little mini series based on American cartoon sitcoms. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed doing it and I need to think of some more ideas for something else to bring you guys. But once again, thank you for the support. I'm up and coming, um, well, up and coming. I'm uh, new to YouTube and you know, I appreciate this is a learning curve and I appreciate people hanging in there. And if you have watched, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my uh, attempts at a video. So, cheers guys. Peace.